Bonjour fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and we're in Avignon, France, enjoying a nice week-long trip here in Avignon, enjoying Provence and all the things that Avignon has to offer. And today what we have for you are the things you should see and do when you do come here to Avignon because it is well worth a visit. And the first thing you should see when you come here is the Papal Palace because for about 70 years the popes actually resided here. There were seven popes, seven French popes, that actually lived here in Avignon. There were some debatable popes after that a little infighting but there were seven full-on popes that were actually here in Avignon and they still have the papal palace and what's cool is the city has a lot of the remnants of that time and one of the great things about the popes being here is they had a lot of influence a lot of art came here a lot of architecture a lot of beautiful churches all kinds of fantastic things but the key one to see is actually the papal palace okay because you go there that's where the popes live for the seven years they were here it's one of the largest structures well largest palaces you will find one of the things that's bad about it is there's not a lot of the furnishings and furnitures that are still there but there still are some fantastic frescoes that are on a few of the walls and you get to go through there in the courtyard and the halls and just see the enormity of the palace that was for the popes you know back in the 1300s and you really get this like awe-inspiring wow this is pretty amazing so that's the first thing you have to do is go see the the papal palace okay right next to that there's a church you'll see the gold statue there on the top you want to check that out as well if you go a little bit farther down you have a cool museum if you want 13th 14th century art like Botticelli who I'm a huge fan of in the Petit Palais that's well worth checking out you're gonna walk down from the Avignon Center Station you're gonna come down and there's a shopping street coming straight down the way and you get to the main square or Le Horologue I know I'm saying it horribly wrong but Le Horologue you go there it's cool if you come here in, in Christmas time they have Christmas markets there it's a big open square lots of restaurants and cafes to people watch the city hall is there which is beautiful and you just keep on walking and then you come to the papal palace and its courtyard there it's just nice this nice straight shot there which is you know kind of a neat thing to do now the next thing you should do when you're here and actually it's probably the most famous thing I like well the thing I like the most about being here is the Pont Avignon or the Avignon bridge you're still four arches of these bridge left and you can actually go on the bridge walk on the bridge you definitely want to be holding your kids hand on there very easy for them to slip off the signs I'm not even joking but it's cool because you can see they have a little you know exposition about how the bridge was built you can walk a little bit on the ramparts on the city and it is really cool now another thing you want to do when you're here is you'll see that this is a walled city and you want to see the walls because their ramparts are really well preserved and you walk around and you just see them like wow this you just feel like you're in like old Europe when you're here and that's one of the great things of not just about here but in Provence you had a lot of these walled cities and Avion is probably the best example in my opinion of one of the ones that you can come and really enjoy and get lots of place to stay lots of place to eat and a lot of culture things as well now another museum you might want to go see is the Musée Calvé which is basically you know the fine arts museum that's here and there's other you know smaller museums in town that are well worth checking out and one of the things I do like to do when I'm here is just wander whether you're wandering the pedestrian street not just that main thoroughfare because a lot of people what they do is they get off the train station they just walk to the, the Papal Palace, to the bridge, and then walk back, and they leave. No, there's so much more to see here. And when you explore the pedestrian streets with the, with the shops, the restaurants, it is fantastic. And that's another thing you need to do when you come to Avignon, is eat and drink well. Because, I mean, Provence has got some of the best food in France, and Avignon is no exception. So make sure you enjoy your time by sitting back, whether it's on the square, or actually what you want to do is go into some of the smaller streets behind the square and find some of the smaller restaurants out there to really get a great feel for Provence and, and the provincial food that is here because it is fantastic. You know, we have these Herbes de Provence. That's here. You'll literally see these you know, rosemary and all these herbs growing around wildly. And we, we've, been, we've been here for five days. We made our Christmas dinner here. Okay, and my wife, she used the herbs she picked around town in our meal and it was just amazing, okay? And the food here is fantastic. What's cool about Avignon is it makes a nice base for Provence. I know we're on kind of like the side of Provence, very, very western edge, but you can do some other cool day trips from here. You can go to Arles, which is famous for Van Gogh and the Roman amphitheater and the theater there. Also, there's a couple of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites there, like one of the churches that are there. And that's really cool. And what's cool in Arles as well is since Van Gogh painted so many paintings there. You'll see these easels around town and I'll have the, his painting and then you look up and you see, oh, that's, that's, that's what he painted and you can see what he saw when he painted it with the painting and that is pretty cool. And that's only literally, that's 18 minutes on the train from Gar Cent the center station here, okay? Another place easy to go is Nimes, which is about half an hour. 
They have one of the best preserved Roman amphitheaters in France there. There's also the square house, the Maison Carré, which is not actually square. It's because the Romans said anything with right angles was a square. And they have that there. You can check out, wander through the streets there, and you'll see these crocodiles everywhere. You think, crocodiles in France? Well, actually, a lot of the uh, Roman soldiers that went and fought Egypt were from Nîmes. So when they came back, they'd seen the Nile crocodiles, and they brought it back, and that's now the symbol of the city. And if you want to go someplace a little bit more popular, Aix-en-Provence is like an hour and a half on the TGV from here. So it is pretty cool to go check out and use this as your base. If you're driving, you can go see the pont de -Gain. Also, there's Le Beau, you know, the stone city, you know, up on the hill. I mean, there's all kinds of great stuff to see by using Avignon as your base. Now, one of the things I will warn you, if you are not driving, if you're taking the TGV in from Paris, the TGV Avignon station is not here in the center, okay? That's Avignon Center Station, okay? Avignon TGV is about a 15 minute, 10 minute train ride out, so it's not really close to the town, okay? So make sure you're, if you're booking your hotels, you're staying at the Avignon Center Station to be here in the center with the walls and the people palace and all this stuff, because honestly, I love Avignon. It's probably my favorite city in the south of France. Well worth checking out. Now, if you want to learn more, five things you love and hate about Avignon, five things you love and hate about Provence, what to see and do in Arles, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. And if you have more stuff to see and do here in Avignon or around, please put in the comments section below so we can help more people enjoy this beautiful city and this beautiful country. Au revoir from Avignon!